Hey, I'll do and welcome to the Indie Rundown podcast YouTube channel. I'm Mike Tula. That's my partner, uh, Zach Salazar. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> Had to get you back just for uh, Troy Escamilla. It was a long time coming. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down, man. That's awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Zach Salazar. And we're here to check out uh, Braden Timmons trailer for his Halloween fan film, The Haddonfield Night- Nightmare. And uh, let's get in before I start stuttering my way through yeah. everything else. Uh, count us in. Okay, let's do uh, three, two, one, go. Morning. Sorry to bother you so early on a Saturday. Are you uh, John Tate? I am. Is everything okay? <laughs> Are you familiar with Joanne Harrison? She's a friend and a colleague of mine. Why, is something wrong? Well, Mr. Tate... Her body was found inside her home last night, completely cut up. Mm. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? Josh Hartnett from uh, H2O. Michael yeah. Myers yeah. didn't die in 78, because 22 years ago tonight, he found her. But if he has returned, and if we don't do something soon, the people in this town are be in real danger. <laughs> This time, you're still alive. That ends tonight. Oh, shit. Hmm. It's cracking like the mask. <laughs> uh oh. October 29th. All right, we got a release date. I don't know if that was previous knowledge already, but it's knowledge. It's news to me. Cool. Well, it's it's uh, news now. Just in time for Halloween. Perfect, man. That looked good, man. That I, did, I, man. Wow. It's so funny. Wow. You always go into these trailers. You you always, uh, for some reason, you're just like, yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm expecting, you know, something less than what it actually shows me, and it just gets me excited. That's just a testament to all these fan films. You know, it's it's peop- it's independent filmmakers. You know, getting together to make a, a movie. Yeah. Pretty much what yeah. it is. Not, no longer a, a fan film. These guys are fans, but they're also filmmakers. Yeah, you can see and, the progression with each one, man. This looked incredible. Yeah, yeah. and it was fun because we were talking to Braden. It was uh, during the lockdown about this whole thing. He showed us a mask. I didn't see it at the time. Uh, and I dig it. It looks like as it, it, he gave it the 2018 treatment uh, for that H2O mask. So you could tell it's, you know, he lo- it looks like the same Myers from uh h2o and i'm i i i'm excited i'm excited it's coming up real soon too and uh you know shout out to the cast too i remember uh you know Braden was doing one-on-one interviews you can check on uh, his channel uh you know with all the cast and they're giving their backstory uh some of these some of these guys were from you know the theater scene in, in chicago because it's actually shot in illinois that's another thing too you look at the website the banner that he has with mike myers on the street i mean it tells you everything uh, it just looks, it just looks like Haddonfield. He's got the good feel of it, and I know locations. You know they don't make a film, but he's got locations up the wazoo. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. If you've been following him on social media, I won't give anything away right now, even though it's out there. You know, you, you check it out, and, it, and it's a lot of fun. And I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see it. You know, it's been a year in the making, or you know, I'm not sure how long. I, I think it's a year. Yeah, a year, year and so. a half. Yeah. So he's been putting the time in, and to me, it looks great. Yeah, I was I was actually going to say something similar, like as much time as I've seen him put into this, like it quality looks top notch. You know, it's uh, it, this looks good. The, the color palette really gives it that dark cinematic look to me. And I think uh, that's going to put this above a lot of other fan films. Just in, I was very impressed with the quality, the camera quality, the lighting, the the color, the color grades. Um, looks like a lot of fun. Looks like a lot of fun. I like the story that he's coming at, too, because not a lot of people tackle the H2O. Yeah. Yeah, I'm has lying. anyone like ever done John it. Tate stuff? I mean, this is totally new. I love it. Renee Rivas alluded to it in Spirit of Haddonfield, but you know, That's for right. him That's to be right. the focal character, yeah, I, I can't remember. But yeah. you know, shout out also to Misael Barrientos, Blair Ford. They're also producers for you know Braden's production company, and I think they did a good job. I'm excited to watch this, man. Yeah, and you know what's best is this is going to be an hour and twenty minutes, so. 
They've the shown future. so little in the trailers. I love it. So we got a lot of stuff coming that we haven't even seen. So I'll definitely be grabbing a big-ass bucket of popcorn when this comes out because this is going to be a fun watch. So good job, Braden and team, everybody involved. I think this looks incredible. Yeah, and yeah. that's it from us. We're out. Yeah, man. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.